Now let's take a look at some of the fundamentals of Solar and Lucene, how they map to Cassandra concepts, which will enable DC search. In Solar, there's a concept called the core. This is synonymous with the Cassandra table. Now in Datastax Enterprise, we will actually call this a search index. So we talk about search indexes on tables. Your indexes are created for specific DSC tables, which are going to be identified by a key space dot table notation. For example, killer video being our key space and videos being our table in the killer videos dot videos example. Indexes are defined and configured with two resource files, a schema XML and a solar config XML. These are solar concepts that still apply today in DSC search. A solar document is synonymous with a CQL row, logical row. This is going to be a one-to-one -one mapping. A field in search will be the same as a CQL column. Normally, you're going to define some or all or some subset of your CQL table columns to be the search fields. It's actually possible to find fields in your search index that don't have a corresponding CQL table column. This is used to duplicate data in your index for a different kind of analysis, but then avoid storing the raw data multiple times in your data store. Every field is going to have a type which will represent the type of data being indexed and stored. A shard is synonymous to our token ranges. The index is split up and stored on different nodes as shards, which will directly correlate to your data store data. Data is indexed locally, so shards map the token ranges and replicas for each node. DC search determines the minimal set of shards that make up the entire document set for an index. Your index is going to be the data structure that gets utilized in a search query. This defines the structure and behavior of the search functionality. Your index data is written as data is inserted, updated, or deleted in DSC. This index actually has similar properties to the Cassandra SS tables. Your index is made up of one or more index segments. Your search index will have similar properties to your table's SS tables. A core's index is going to be made up of one or more index segments. New and updated index entries are going to be written to a new segment. And there's also similar disk operations, such as committing, which is synonymous with flush on the Cassandra side, and merging, which is like compaction. Your index segment is not available for read until the segment is committed in some way. A search term is going to be the search input and tokenized data or words as a result of your text analysis. A phrase is simply going to be multiple terms, where the position of these terms are going to be important to determine the phrase. And phrases will need to be enclosed in double quotes. Solar underscore query. Now this is a pseudo column that is automatically added to your table when a search index is created in DSC. This will act as a pass-through column into Solar and Lucene and is used to explicitly run a search query within DSC Search. Therefore, it's going to use Solar syntax, and historically, this was needed for any text search powered by DSC. Your results are going to be the same as a SQL query. You're going to get rows back. Now, these will be ordered by a default based on the row's relevancy to that search query, but the results can be sorted by another field or set of fields.